Hey everybody, I'm back. And uh, we're gonna finish it up with a goblet squat by the horns. I'm holding it up by the horns. And then I'm coming up with a twist for each side. This helps me maintain my side to side mobility along with the drill down workout. That, that's all about working out side to side mobility with coming with the kettlebells, coming swinging across, and then doing uh, like single leg side squats, stuff like that. But uh, yeah, this is a, uh, yeah, this is one that helps maintain mobility because if you look at barbell exercises and, and uh, dumbbell exercises, most of them are just flat, sideways, flat, up and down exercises. And I like to have exercises where I do twists so I can get hit multiple, my muscles in multiple planes and stuff like that. So these exercises are not really going to chisel you out, but they're going to help you with your everyday mobility, walking up straight, having a better posture, stuff like that. And uh, that's why that's why I do these exercises. I like I like having uh, I like having excellent posture. And then for the weight measurements, I just I measure uh, my weight loss in increments of 10 pounds because it's a little bit easier to follow. Five or 10 is a little bit easier to follow than trying to set a goal of losing 20 pounds or 30 pounds in one go. Like if you're not paying attention to the scale and you're out there running every day, then that seems more feasible to lose like 30 pounds in like two months or three or however long it takes you. But I'm not running every day. So because I'm just doing the kettlebell exercises and I've geared it more for cardio because of a leg injury I have, it definitely helps me, definitely helps me measure my weight in increments of 10 instead of high amounts of weight. And that's how, that's how I handle that. And then with my diet, I help change that up a little bit. So my diet is mainly rice, vegetables, and chicken. And that's like done the unique ways. Sometimes I'll have a uh, beef and pork. Um, I'm trying to stop having this. Like once a week I have a cheat day. So I'm actually trying to stop that, but it's hard to stop eating junk food. Like I've managed to curb it significantly but in the end, it's really hard to stop. So with that being, with all that being said, let's uh, do the do the, the uh, kettlebell goblet squat with a twist. It's, it's a lot of words, I know. So that was one set at 14. Take a break, like a one minute break and come back with it. All right, let's get back to it.
<sighs> that was a, work. It's a little bit lower than the goblet squat. Goblet squat's usually up here. In this case, my arms are tired. Okay, let's get back to it. A real goblet squat. Three sets of 14. Four. Three. My breath here. Three sets of 14. Well, not bad. For the first strength training exercise. Could have gone better. Could have did those first two sets of goblet twists right. But after doing all those exercises, my arms were killing me. So I might put the goblet, squ goblet squat further up on the list. It just reordered the list so it feels more even. Because the first majority of the exercises just felt like all upper body only. Except for the clean and the goblet squat. Those felt like lower body exercises. So how this is working out. I've, I've scheduled it. So my drill down workout is EOD, that's end of day. From Monday, my uh, cardio workout is beginning of the day, starting at five or 5.30ish, whatever time I wake up. It doesn't take me that long to get through it. And that's on Wednesday. And then uh, depending on how I feel on Friday, I just felt really bad this morning. I'll do my strength training at the end of the day or the beginning of the day. It all depends. And then I'm just going to try to work in some walking with the kettlebell on the interior days uh, just to keep my heart rate up and keep my metabolism up. I've noticed definitely with more exercise, your metabolism works a lot better or it's more focused on working better and processing food a lot better same with uh, same with more exercise and notice that sleep helps you process everything you're doing and gets you prepared for the following days so initially there should be 
except for the weekends. There shouldn't be any further than two days between my workouts, unless something comes up. I did an update previously today, so I'm gonna put that in the video. I'm gonna put that on the on the on the uh, list as well. And this is this is it for the rest of the night. So if you're watching this, thanks for watching. Go ahead, go ahead and test yourself. You can you can try you can try the uh, the kettlebell. Um, uh, kettlebell health and wellness program. I did that two times a week or two days a week. Uh, same exercises as these, only cut way back. And then to start doing these, I did uh, I did testing for each exercise, see how far I can go. And then I just I subtracted five, so that's why it looked like in some of my exercises I was pushing it because stacking stacking uh. Stacking these sets kind of helps you push it, uh, push your limits. Like if you do for the overhead press, if you do 16 reps, I did 16 reps, so I stacked that in sets of three, and then I just alternated between each hand, and that kind of pushed it for me. Uh, so that's kind of what I'm looking for in my exercises: is not not total discomfort, not total failure, but discomfort in a way my body can react to stress and change. So that's kind of like the philosophy behind this uh, uh, strength training guardian workout and the cardio guardian workout. That being said, I will definitely catch you guys uh, on Monday uh, in the next videos. Uh, take it easy to you guys and uh, keep up your fitness.